We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy Squiggums. Our Adventurer Guild continues now. All right, we get to get into some stuff a little bit deeper. What are the, uh, what's with the weird blue faces and the, um, oh, really? I don't like that. Why are they injured? Le Bou. I say Le Bou. All right, visit the tavern and have at least four adventurers. All right, uh, tavern would be here. <laughs> Can I have another one? Maybe. You already had enough, you lightweight. Oh, who are you calling a lightweight? I ain't drunk yet. Sure. Oh, hi, Fiola. And hi, Falcon. Is this? Uh, hello, Tabby. Yeah, that's right. This is unfortunately the new Guildmaster. Unfortunately? Don't mind them. Just introduce yourself. Hello, Guildmaster. I am Tabby, and this tavern belongs to me. This is where all the adventurers go when they need to relax. If you think someone had a hard day, just send them to me and I'll make them drink until they're too intoxicated to even remember why they were sad in the first place. Um, I would have phrased it differently, but yes, sometimes the former guildmaster would buy drinks for adventurers to raise morale. It is actually quite efficient. My advice is to keep that tradition and occasionally buy a drink or two for the adventurers. Anything else to keep in mind here? <laughs> Sorry, um, as I already said before. Usually new adventurers who would like to join the guild will also arrive here. In the past, we would get adventurers from all over the world wanting to join us, many who have already made a name for themselves. Alas, nowadays, the only people who come here are people who are too inexperienced and too weak to make it on their own. Hey, I heard that! So what, if you have a problem with that, then prove them wrong. Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> we should start looking for adventurers here. At least enough to field a full party of four on a quest. All right, got it. Hey, how about me? <laughs> um, hmm. As I said, lightweight. It's true. She did say that. Okay, drinks won't be free, even for the Guildmaster. What do you got to say, Tavi? Here for a drink, Guildmaster. Uh, Tavi. Did you used to be an adventurer? No, why would you think that? God, it just seemed very likely in a place like this. If you really want to know, I joined the Adventurer Guild because of Mahu's Bond. He was an adventurer, and he was also one of the first adventurers to join the Adventurer Guild. When he joined the guild, I opened a tavern here with the help of the former guildmaster. It was my way of staying close to him. Because my family used to run a tavern in Cragmond. I had no trouble with running one in the guild. Sure, adventurers can be a rougher bunch than most, but my husband always had a knack for reminding people not to cause any trouble in my tavern. Huh, you say he was an adventurer? Hmm. Uh, he never got to retire. But I guess that was never unexpected. That's the life of an adventurer for you. One day you were making plans for the future together, and on the next there is none to be had. Oh, I see. Eh, there's no need to feel sorry for me, Guildmaster. It happened a long time ago. Right now I'm more concerned about the people paying their tabs. Still don't want that drink. No, I'm good. There's always a seat free for you here. Okay, we got to grow our adventurer a rooster, or roster as it were. Um, still doesn't look like it tells us specifically what the people are, but again, we can extrapolate, and we can go into details and it should tell us there, so I I'm okay with this. Again, I would like to see somewhere here, I don't know where you'd fit it, so again, I don't have the solution, just throwing it out there. But I wouldn't mind seeing, like, Rosa, Cleric or Priest, uh, Conrad, Mage, uh, Garrett, uh, Tank or something. You know, like, I'd like to see what they are. I like that the 
the archer's name is Fletcher. That's fantastic. But again, this is this is fine. The small little thing doesn't matter. It's all good. So why strength is a measure of physical? Why is it green? Ah, strong. Look at those biceps. Plus one strength, plus 30 strength growth. I, I don't know what that means. 100%, but lucky. We got some crit, and then... Oh my god. We probably should definitely hire you. There we are. I'm like, did they get rid of all the negative traits? Yeah, we're going to recruit you. Alright, Conrad, what do you got? Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm not looking too closely at it. I'm just looking briefly at what we've got going on. Ugh. Well, if we want a mage. <sighs> oh, we could view class details. Oh, that's cool. A lot of information that I totally know how to parse right now. Oh, but he's he's awful. I oh I like that we can see the, <laughs> the sloth on the on a tree. It's nice. Um, I like that we can see the uh, stuff here a little bit larger as well. Man, all right, which one of you two are the least bad? Scared of fire. Every time this character receives a receives or causes fire damage, they lose. Okay, well that's not good. I feel like that's probably pretty often, so I'm not gonna bring con oh did he get a is he burned? Is that what happened to him? It's probably what happened to him. Well I, I I guess I get it, man. Intelligence growth is higher. He he's not very accurate or is he dodgeable, but boy howdy can he crit things. Uh, Eric isn't fearless, he's just not that fond of living. For every state can never get lower than normal, and the character can never gain the shaken status. However, there is a five percent chance to gain the marked status at the beginning of the turn. I don't know what that means. Uh, endurance growth is up. Initiative is down. Dexterity is down. Yeah, I guess he's the better of the two. Alright, what's the difference between Goldilocks and Silverlocks? You're a warrior. And you are a defender. Ooh, fancy. We should probably get more than... Yeah. Are these guys only 100 a pop? Wow. They really aren't that great, are they? All right. Uh, not incredibly useful for a warrior to have uh, a thing. You're a mage, Garrett. Uh-huh. Dexterity, wisdom, and dodge. Last to see it coming. He's oblivious. That's not great. Eagle-eyed, though. Uh -huh. Crit, dexterity, growth, which we lose, so we come out with a 10 net positive. We're not very dodgeable. Could spot a mole on an ant. Huh. Okay, I like that. I don't think I care about that. That's I like like the negative side of that. That seems good actually. Uh, oh, but then it gets kind of negated. Okay, so in the end we we get a positive overall. We get one strength endurance, 20 strength and endurance growth. We get minus 20 wisdom growth, but we gain 30 wisdom growth, which means we're at a positive of 10, but then we lose 20 wis uh, willpower growth, but then we gain it, so we're at a, a net zero, and then we gain the five initiative. This actually is great. Good job, Blade. Well done. Oh, we have two Blades. That's awkward. Um, Not the worst thing? Why is everybody so dang smart? Stop being so bright. We lose 30 endurance, then we gain 30 endurance. Wow. Positive relationship events are only 50% as effective because rational. Dubious upbringing. <laughs> I think we're going to have the Blade Brothers. Look at those biceps. All right, yeah, the Blade Brothers are coming on this one. All right, join the squad, and then finally we're going to get either Fletcher or Alice. I know we only need four and we're going to have eight, but that's fine. Loves money more than his fellow man. Yeah. That's not great. That's not good. All right, what about you, Alice? 
Uh, impatient. Will always act first in the first round of combat unless ambushed. Ooh, okay, that's not bad. Permanent positive mood buff. Okay. And actually, that's not that bad. I don't think we need strength. That's fine. Though I don't... Alice is tiny and adorable. Just don't say that to her face. Um, I don't know how much I like the physical attack being reduced by 10%, but hopefully the the dodge grow or sorry the dexterity growth will overcome that. Oh no, dodge and accuracy clumsy. Whatever, I'm still bringing you. Oh, tiny Alice. Alice is super happy though. All right, so we did the thing that we had to do. Good. You found a group that is willing to work with you. Congratulations. A winner is you. Thank you. It's much easier than having to deal with you. So what's next? You know, he has a point. Now that we have the adventurers, we should be able to do quests again. But before we send the adventurers on their first quest, for the Adventurer Guild, we should make some preparations. Usually, the guild provides the adventurers with items for their adventures, a few potions, bandages, antidotes, and so on. Unfortunately, the guild currently has nothing in their inventory. Uh-huh, where do we get more? We still have a merchant here who is selling us his supplies, but he is a bit... Well, it doesn't matter. You'll see for yourself. I don't like how that sounds. Well, I guess it's time for you to meet Mecca. To the merchant! What's up, dude? This is our supplier. Uh, his name is Mikan. A name I'm pretty sure is made up. It certainly is. Uh, aren't all names made up? Sorry. I see we're already off to a great start. Care to explain? Well, after the guild has started to lose its reputation, fewer and fewer merchants were willing to do business with us. Then suddenly a very suspicious stranger appeared that would be me. <clears throat> and he offered to become our supplier now that all the other merchants have cut their contact with us. He never showed us his face, never told us where he came from, or why he even wants to support the Adventurer Guild. So, basically all the red flags. But, beggars can't be choosers, my friend. And you, my dear customers, are very much beggars right now, and I am the philanthropist who is holding you up. Uh, so you're doing this out of, uh, generosity. Oh, no, 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 no. The actual reason is completely different from that. And you're not going to tell us. Exactly. You're just as insightful as you look. I mean, even if I told you a reason, how could you possibly know I'm telling the truth? For all you know, I could be a big bad evil guy. That is all part of an unnecessary elabor unnecessarily elaborate plan to destroy everything you love and care about. Uh, nice ears. Lighten up, Guildmaster. I'm joking, of course. Uh, I miss the old guildmaster. He actually laughed when I told him that. Despite all of that, there was never any problem with the wares that Mikan brought us. Quite the opposite, fact. I guess we have no choice but to keep on relying on you, then. Thank you, guildmaster. You will not regret this. Uh, or or will you? <laughs> no, 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 no. JK, JK. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. He's a spicy meatball. Quality wares at reasonable prices. Hello, Guildmaster. How can I be of service? Talk to me, sir. So how old are you? After two millennia, I stopped counting. What is your real name? It is a word that cannot be pronounced in any known language. Are you human? If I were, would I be wearing all these clothes that cover up my skin? Was any of that remotely true? No. Ah. Good talking to you, Guildmaster. Anything else you'd like to say? Yeah, no, that's that's pretty much the size of it. As always, it's been a pleasure. All right, we can get a lot of keys. I don't know why. Oh, okay, chest keys. Ah, those do sound useful. All right, our guild inventory consists of a singular minor health potion, a minor mana potion, a shovel. Okay. The, the key, of course. Uh, some common herbs. Some ruby berries. Alchemical ingredients. Mana leaves. Some wood. 
some common ores, a boar's liver, a wolf's spleen, and some wolf blood. All right. And then we have the option of getting stuff like clean bandages to stop wounds from bleeding. Uh, okay. So I think I'm going to buy... We have a mission to buy something specific. I don't know what that is. Two bandages, two antidotes, two healing potions, two mana potions. I guess I did pretty good. Now, there is still one place you also need to know. The temple. Shouldn't there also be a blacksmith in other places? Uh, sometimes people will get injured and need only time to heal. But time is a luxury we cannot always afford. Yeah, unfortunately. But the temple can help us with that. How about we also visit it today? Sure. To the temple. So, we have a temple in the Adventurer Guild. Are you sure you want to step foot in here? Aren't you afraid of turning into ashes? Of course not. Unlike you, I'm not a faithless heathen. You should be more worried that the gods don't smite you because you defile this place with your presence. I would pray for your soul, if you had one. Uh, you two should be more worried uh, whether the gods would be offended by your bickering in this place of all places. Uh, oh, hey, Nora. Nice to see you. I see you too, Mr. Falcon. And of course, you too, Mrs. Fiola. If you'll excuse me, I have something to do. Well, she left rather quickly. Hello, Fiola. Hello, Falcon. Hey, Eden. Um, we were actually looking for you. Oh, is that so? Then I'm happy to be here. How can I help? Uh, we wanted to introduce you to the new Guildmaster. Guildmaster, this is Eden. He is in charge of the temple here and is also a training instructor for the guild. Eden, this is our new Guildmaster, Bumpy. Oh, so you're Bumpy. Oh. Uh, is something wrong? No, no, it's it's nothing. It's just I, I heard a lot about you. Uh, what did Fran tell you? Oh, it wasn't the former Guildmaster. It was Fiola. Why are you looking at me? Isn't it obvious that you'd consult a priest if the devil haunts your nightmares? They definitely hooked up in the past. I feel like I've made the... Like, this is the same, like, mental state I was in when I did the first look. I feel like these are the same... I'm repeating, regurgitating the same jokes. Not intentionally. Or, I, I don't know, jokes, ob observations. I don't, I don't know. Same thoughts? Yeah. We gotta get to new content so I can come up with new things. Instead of my mind going back to what I thought originally. I think that's the case. Or I'm insane and I'm thinking completely wrong. Totally fine. Don't worry, Guildmaster. Of course I know Fiola was probably exaggerating. You seem to be a very touchy subject for her. Yeah, I don't even want to know. You really don't. <clears throat> Moving on. As we told you before, sometimes adventurers will need to be sent out... What? Need to be sent out again before they're ready. In those cases, Eden can help us. Usually, healing magic is only capable of giving temporary relief. When adventurers use healing magic or healing potions on the field, ah, they will still need to recover naturally when they come back. But we priests from the Church of Ganinita Hananinina. What? Gen Genenta? Yep, gonna totally remember how to say that. Uh, are specialized in the art of healing and are capable of a ritual that can forcefully recover all injuries. Yeah, I'm familiar with that process. It's not a great feeling. Unfortunately, it isn't. Having the body mend itself is a, well, a rather painful process. Therefore, it shouldn't be used too often. Otherwise, your adventurers will be less than thankful. So heal at the cost of morale, probably. Adventurers who sustain injuries during a quest require time to recover. While it's still possible to send them on quests, if necessary, injured adventurers will have reduced maximum hit points during quests. The church can forcibly heal your adventurers, but this process is painful for them and will lower their mood. Blessings upon you, Guildmaster. How can I help? Ah, uh, what's up, man? How long have you been part of the Adventurers Guild now? Oh, I'd say about eight years now. Why did you join? Because I believe in the good the Adventurers Guild can do. What a strange thing to say about adventurers. I used to feel the same, but I still remember the day the former Guildmaster came to us and asked for our help. 
Adventurers never had a good reputation in the church. They were only known as people who do anything for money, and sometimes were as big of a problem as bandits and monsters. Well, the former guildmaster seemed different. He told us about his adventurer guild, how he wanted it to be something that could help people. He believed that the guild could provide help to the common people in a time where more and more people resort to banditry and monsters roam unhindered in human territory. He also believed that the guild could also provide a chance for adventurers to be uh, more than what they were currently known for. Honestly, to us, it sounded more like he wanted to create a guild for heroes. It sounded so unbelievable that... Uh, and many at that time had their doubts, but not me. I don't know what it was, but what he said resonated with me that day, and I volunteered to join the Adventure Guild as a representative. Unfortunately, not many of my brothers and sisters followed me. They doubt that a guild comprised of adventurers could ever do any good. Well, seeing the state of the current guild, maybe the doubters were right. I disagree, Guildmaster. Maybe the guild has declined, but remember that before it has done... Well, oh, sorry, before that, it has done what it promised to do. In these eight years, I have seen adventurers do more good and protect more lives than anyone would have expected from them. Well, how else can I help? No, that's it. Thank you. All right, what did you want me to do here? Just visit the temple. All right. Now we should have everything ready to go. Adventure start, official quest, adventure guild. Yeah. From now on, quests we get, well, they aren't much. Or from now, the quests we get aren't much. But hopefully when our reputation starts to get better, there'll be more and better paying quests. From here on out, the future of the Adventurer's Guild is in your hands. Yeah, don't screw it up. From this point on, your goal is to lead the guild to ultimate fame. To do so, you have to build up your reputation by completing quests that have been sent to the guild. To view the available quests, click on the quest button. Oops, I didn't want to close that, but that's fine. La, 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 collect items in the forest. All right, that's what we're doing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I have accepted this, and we are sending people out. We're going to send the Blade Twins. Uh, Rosa, probably, and Alice. Eric doesn't get to go. Alright, I've, I've opted against that. Uh, one of the Blade Twins is not going to go. Eric's going to go on the Blade Twins spot. Can I? Oh, God. Oh, I can dismiss you. There we go. I'm like, uh-ha. Yeah, that, that works for me. Uh, okay, uh, make our preparations. I can't remember what the rule is. We're gonna go with eight. Oops, don't need the herb there. Okay, let's see what that does. Uh, front row. I mean, I don't think it matters as much in this one. Because, like, everybody's going to be moving around anyway, so this is fine. Alright, we're going to try to get through the quest, though I don't know that it's going to happen. I have no idea how we save. Like, can we save in the middle of a quest? I'm not sure. But we're going to try it anyway, because I want to see some new stuff. I want to share more of the game with you. All right, quest length short. Recommend supplies per adventurer is two. I think I did that. Collect three rainbow flowers. Uh, the level of enemies is lower than usual. Sweet, weak enemies. The dream, as they say. Ah. Oh. Well, this is interesting. Um, oh, 
Alright, let's see what do we have here. Oh, she's got magic missile too. Heal, cure poison, and Glenn's mind. Pretty much what we'd expect. We, we, we've seen this before. We, we kind of know how this goes. The Huncha. I don't know that Eric's going to be able to do a whole bunch, but he's going to try. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. Sad times. Nobody. No. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, 73% chance and I missed. Yeah, that's. I don't know what I was expecting. gonna do the one piece here Boop. and then I'm gonna move back behind here and make sure I'm alive how dare you claw oh, you poisoned him that's not okay yeah what it is knockback some skills allow you to push enemies in a direction if they are pushed and an obstacle is in the way they suffer collision damage the damage depends on the distance they've been pushed and their level when an enemy is pushed into another enemy both of them will suffer collision damage however if an enemy is pushed into an ally then the ally will attack the enemy oh causing the collision damage to increase the ally on the other hand will not suffer any damage themselves oh that's cool oh good i'm glad i, I read that <clears throat> um, the extent of damage increases depending on the relationship between the adventurer, the initiator, and the ally. It's important to note that if the ally has a negative or bad relationship with the initiator, instead of attacking the enemy pushed into them, they will suffer collision damage themselves. Oh. Well, that's not necessarily great. Okay, I don't remember what, what other thing I wanted to look at, so we're just going to ignore it. The hunter is here. We're gonna get cl cleaved again. Ooh, we get crit and double poisoned. But do not fret, do not fear. I can cure poison from over here. And we are poison resistant now. What? I mean, I don't really need to do any of this stuff. All right, I guess we just chill. Come on, man. How are you so bad at things? You don't even have that bad of a chance to hit. You just suck, I guess. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I had a terrible chance to hit with Alice, and she still killed it. So, I don't know. I'm a little bummed out. Can I knock him into the water, do you think? Probably not. Hmm, let's shield bash him. There we go. A little bit of stun in action. And then on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and add some extra block to myself. Block up. Alright. The stun has come and gone. This doesn't feel very good. Please land. Hey, we did it. We're heroes. Let's go back to talking about what a hero we are. Uh, 
All right, Rosa. Well done. All right, Alice is going for the kill again. She can go for aim shot. Let's do that. Yep, go for the aim shot. Don't get the aim shot. Perfect. Exactly how I planned it out. Oh, you're going to stay on him. All right. All right, Eric. Get bounced. All right. We, we bounced him up a little bit. He's a bouncing baby boy. Oh, he's going for the poison. Oh, but I blocked entirely. Like a boss. I'm going to go for the heal. It helped a little. Magic missile. And it is enough. We could have fallen back on for the burbush. But I opted against it. Continue. Loot. Take all and continue. Alright, I'll take some bonus experience. Alright, yum, 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 yum. We can disarm the trap? Uh, yeah. Let's go for it. Success, because of the modifier. Yeah, I was like, I hope that that should give experience. That's something that I've said about every game ever. If you have a rogue that specific or anything that specifically does a thing, like we'll just use the rogue for instance, like picking a box or disarming a trap, pickpocketing, whatever it is, it should be worth some experience. It's silly when games don't give you that. So I'm very happy to see that we actually got a little bit of that going on here. Yeah, it looks like we're uh, going to do a fisticuff battleation. There is a chest down here that we want. We're up against a, a three-piece. I think we're just going to shift everybody over to the right. Oh, we're up against a four-piece. There was a hidden, a hidden extra bonus guy. Oh, but we got a chain attack. What? Very nice. The bandito grunt is ready. All right, we we got we have to move up here. Um, so we're going with the long shot. We landed it too. Surprise, surprise. Ouch. Double ouch. All right. We, we did that. That's that's okay. Apparently. There we go. So apparently I can't move there. I shove them away a little bit.
I mean, I don't know that I necessarily want to move up in an attack. I want them close with this a little bit. Oh, that was a big hit. I like it. Yeah, I know. I know, we're gonna get bloody axed. There it is. We had a very small chance to chain the attack there. We did not manage it. That's unfortunate. Oh, we're gonna get bloody missed. <laughs> yeah. All right, see if that's far enough. I don't. Oh, it is. Okay. To avoid getting absolutely molly whopped right off of the the word go here. Alright, going for aim shot on you. Bloop. The uh, the old squad is uh, struggling a little bit here. A little bit of the old struggle bus coming through. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> nice, except for the part where you missed. Surprise! Yeah. Alright, now the unfortunate reality is we're gonna get beat up here a little bit. At least one other person is gonna take some damage, most likely. Ah, uh, maybe not, though. For some reason, you get to go, and I like that a lot. I'll burn you out, and nobody else got hit. Very nice. Alright, some delicious experience. 50, 50, 62, 50. We will take all. Lockpick. Oh, we didn't even... Oh. oh. Critical success. Take it. Very nice. Alright. It looks like I can save the game. Yay! Alright, we're going to break it off right here, guys and gals. In the next episode, we will continue our adventures in the mystical land of mystical landitude. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going and we'll, we'll get a little bit further along in our adventurer guild progress. I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I really hope you guys are, you know, eager to see more and or grab the game played yourselves. Uh, a lot of love for this one, which is good because this is a very, very cool game. I like it a lot and I'm super happy I get the opportunity to cover it. A bit, again, a big shout out and a thank you to the developer for looking me up with the code for this. Anyhow, folks, <coughs> excuse me, that's going to do it for this episode. Until the very next one, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>